Good day, Will England here, Sprint Product Ambassadors. Found a quiet place on the Sprint campus to check out on my lunch break, the Google Pixel 4 XL. Today we're going to be unboxing it. Going forward we'll find out more cool information about the phone, how it works, and so forth. Comes in a pretty stock white box, labeled Google. One nice feature, catch your focus please, there we go. It has anti-tamper strips on the, and easy open strips on the box, so you can easily zip and zip to open up the box and join Team Pixel. So let's see what's inside here. We have a black slab, imagine that. All phones these days are black slabs, nicely labeled with how to get into it. So, we have a hand-sized phone, just the right size to fit in my eight and a half, nine glove hands, with full plastic wrap around it. Going further into the box, we find a box labeled Google with our ubiquitous SIM removal tool, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and USB-C to A adapter in case you don't have a USB-C to connect it to your uh, computer, and a charger with a USB-C port. The charger is rated I never can read these, and trifocals just don't, don't work for that tiny, tiny print. But we have a charger for the Pixel with an output of appears to be 9 volts at 2 amps, so it definitely will be a quick charger. The charger is completely blank, no branding, no logos on it. You might want to tag that with... Uh, what phone this goes to, so you know that you can get a quick charge from your Google Pixel. Beyond the empty sleeve, the charger comes in, the charging cable, and the mandatory warranty paperwork, SIM tool, and probably health and safety cards. We don't have much with it. No headphones are included. Uh, no headphone jack to plug them into. So let's unwrap the Google Pixel 4 XL and take a look at the uh, design of the device. Nice, easy to remove wrapping. And it sticks to the screen nicely. With a gorgeous black screen here. As you can probably see in the reflection, there we go. A ear speaker and camera in front. At the center, I'm still trying to get the reflection. No notch, large bezel at the top. Um, on the back, we have a array of three cameras plus the flash, and it appears to be a time and distance camera here in the corner. Black glossy slab with a subdued Google logo on the bottom. Very classy looking phone. On the right hand side, you have the white button for, I believe, power, and a rocker switch, probably for volume. On top, a single hole for a microphone. On the left, your SIM card slot. On the bottom, two ports for speakers and the USB-C charging port. We have somewhere, probably inside the speaker ports, another microphone for stereo pickup. I don't have another phone with me to compare. I left those at the house, unfortunately. But as you can see, it is very nicely hand-sized. Uh, you can run it with your left hand or your right hand and be able to reach all the way across the screen diagonally it is a very long phone, 18 by 9 I believe is the resolution, so you'll have to fiddle with sliding up and down a bit for 
work from the phone single-handedly. As with most phones, I recommend you do get a case. Uh, the back, as glossy and shiny as this is, will not stay that way if you put it in your pocket with keys or anything else. The front glass, well, Gorilla Glass, and it does not appear to have a plastic screen protector on it. Uh, you might want to invest in a tempered glass screen protector. There's no curves to the edges, so this one will work quite nicely with the tempered glass screen protectors. It does have somewhat of an oleophobic screen coating, not completely. There's some obvious fingerprints I've left on the screen, but those buff off nicely with a soft cloth to some extent. You, to some extent, you will want a microfiber to keep the screen in its best condition. So this, folks, is the Google Pixel 4 XL uh, with a 6.3-inch screen, 64 gigabytes of onboard storage, just black model, and you can get this from Sprint today on Sprint.com. This is Will England with the Sprint Product Ambassadors, and we'll have more about the Google Pixel 4 XL coming up.